What I'm about to show you might actually change the way that you think about lure color selection when it comes to spotted sea trout, and it actually did me, so let's get right into this. It's pretty good information. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening whenever this may find you. This is something I ran across that's actually pretty mind-blowing, and what I was doing, I was doing some research online about how fish see colors. There's a lot of different information out there, there's a lot of arguments out there, and I wanted to find some scientific evidence that showed maybe this is actually the way that fish see colors, and I ran across this study that was done up in the Chesapeake Bay system about some of the fish that we're actually after, and one of those fish was spotted sea trout, and the information that they gathered from this fish really changed a lot for me. And what they discovered is they discovered that spotted sea trout do not see the color green. They don't see that middle color wavelength. Now this wasn't the purpose of this paper. They just actually had to establish a baseline so they can go further onto their research, but it did help us out as anglers so we can understand how these fish are actually seeing colors. But what they came up with was some really strong evidence to show that trout don't see that middle wavelength of color, which is that green to yellow wavelength which means that they're green colorblind or what's called green red colorblind. Now this is actually a common, it's actually the most common type of colorblindness when it comes to human beings. Now we do have technology available that helps people like myself, which are normally sighted, I can see the colors, but if say I had a loved one that was green red colorblind, we actually have technology and apps on our phone that helps us see the way that they see. So it helps us, you know, kind of help them navigate through life. And we can actually use the same technology to show how trout are actually seeing colors, and it's pretty eye-opening. Now what I'm seeing is green and yellow objects are not invisible to trout, they just don't see it the same way that we do. Instead of seeing green and yellow, they see worlds of a muddy brown color. So I'm gonna give you some examples of that here. Now in this picture, if you look at the left-hand side of the screen, this is what a normal sighted human being is gonna see. And on the right-hand side is what a trout vision is gonna be. So on the left-hand side, you notice we've got a green lure that's got some red flake in it. But if we move over to the right-hand side and see it the way a trout sees it, that green pretty much turns into a muddy brown and that red flake pretty much all but disappears. And there's not that much difference in the black color between the human vision and the trout vision. Now this one took me by surprise. The way that a trout sees color because they don't have that middle wavelength, it actually sees a pale pink color as a silver because they really can't see that light red very well. So this one actually made me think a little bit differently about how I'm gonna select my colors. Now, vibrant pinks are a little bit different. They can actually tell the difference between those colors, but they still don't see it the same way that we do. So what we see is a really bright pink. They see it as more of a muddy yellowish brown color. And if you notice the lure on the top, which is a green back, if you look over in the trout vision, it actually is more of a bronze or really, really light brown. Now moving on to the new penny color, which is the lure that's at the bottom. This is a popular one, and it's got some red flake in it, and it's brown. It's usually bright and vibrant, but if you look over in the trout vision, it's definitely dulled down quite a bit. And as you can see, that pale pink color pretty much goes away, but if you notice that chartreuse tail, it looks a little bit different. And speaking of chartreuse, this is actually how a trout sees chartreuse. Now I'm not saying that chartreuse is bad color for trout. It's a great color for trout. A lot of trout been caught on that one, but I'm just letting you know that they don't see it the same way that we see it. They perceive it differently. And speaking of perception, if you look at that bottom color, that is a natural shrimp color, and trout actually see it pretty much the same way that we do, and I find that pretty interesting. Now here's another good example of how that green goes away on this green back color. If you notice, especially on that brown lure, that green pretty much turns into a copperish brown color and it really fades away on that top and you can't even tell. Now here's a couple of lures that actually look the same between humans and trout which makes sense because they both start out kind of a muted brown or even a gold color and that doesn't make that much difference whenever you're green colorblind. Now what does all this mean to you as far as anglers and as far as catching more fish? For me, I know if I'm going to make that color change, going from a lighter color to another lighter color, like say a white to a pink, to a trout is not gonna make that much of a difference. Or the other way around on the bottom end of the spectrum, if I go from say a dark green to a brown, which I can see a clear difference in, it's not gonna be that big of a difference to a spotted sea trout. So moving forward, when I'm gonna make those color changes, I now know that I really have to make more of a drastic change. I'm probably gonna go from going from a dark color to a light color or a light color to a dark color. So maybe that white to that brown or that brown to that pink 
but not that close together. So if we stay too close to that color spectrum, these fish really won't be able to tell the same difference that we can. They won't see it as well as we think they do. So I would love to hear from you guys out there on what your thoughts on this are. If you are the type of person that has every color of the rainbow out there, is this gonna change the way that you think? Or if you're like me and you really don't use that many different colors, does this help you out? And if you are in this field of study, if you're an optometrist or you're a biologist and you can understand this paper, I'm gonna put the link down below and I would love for you to go through it and maybe you can break it down so layman's can understand this a little bit better. Because I'll be honest with you, in this paper, there was a lot of what we Southerners call $5 words in there. And it was a little hard to go through. I did make it through uh, using Google and uh, searching some of the words, but I would love for somebody that's in the field to actually break this down for me. Now, if you think videos like this are helpful, please do us a favor and click that like button and subscribe to our channel. We have tons of great videos out there that you can go through that's gonna help you become a better inshore angler. And for more detailed information, make sure and join us at saltstrong.com.